This video will be about installing the splash shield guard, also known as the underbody engine cover. This is being done on a Chrysler 300, but it's uh, very similar to other Chrysler and Dodge Jeep vehicles. It's in the process is similar to, to many other vehicles as well. I'll let you know what tools are absolutely necessary and what are optional. I'll also leave all these tools in the description below. First, um, you can do this without the use of either car ramps or a jack and jack stands. However, I strongly recommend using car ramps if you have it. You're just higher up, it's easier. Again, it's not necessary, but it's much helpful because you'll have more space to work with. Safety equipment you'll need. This using a power drill is optional, but it's uh, very good to use, especially when removing the splash shield. In fact, I have a separate video that you can watch and probably should watch first to see how to remove it. And I would suggest using the power drill because, well, you'll get it off faster. But when installing, you're really gonna want a quarter inch ratchet with a either a seven millimeter socket or a nine by 32 nut driver, which would of course go on the uh, on the power gun. And this is uh, also optional, a hex shank socket adapter that would go on here and then the socket would go on there as well. And the pry bar is more for just uh, removing the actual clips. So once you line up the splash shield, You'll put on these bolts. There's 10 of them. And if you're buying uh, an aftermarket splash shield, they actually won't have these pieces on there. So you'll have to take them off your old one and put them on first. And then uh, you would, when you put it on, you'll screw this in. You, you'll see momentarily. And then you'll need about six to eight clips. Let's get started. If you could subscribe real quick, I would appreciate it. So you'll then find out the next video that comes out and learn how to do things differently and cost effectively there are 10 of these clips for these screw bolts and then there are three on each side holes right here for the clips so if you get a new splash guard you're going to need to take these uh, clips off because it doesn't come with the uh, new one you can use like a prying tool there it goes and i'll put these brackets on the new one show what we're working with here you're going to line up the hole with this and the clips go right there I'm underneath the car now, and you can see this is where it's gonna, the splash shield is gonna slide up on here, and right here, you see a hole there, and then the other side, right here. And I should also mention I have another video on if you ever need to change the low beam fog light. Um, if you take off the splash shield, uh, you can take it off here, or you can take it off by the side of the wheel. I'll leave that in the description as well. Now I'm going to put the splash shield on. Slide the splash shield. Line it all up as much as you can for now. So once you push the splash shield in far enough to the point where it won't fall out, then you can scoot down. Go ahead and line up these gray clips with the holes. Either grab your power drill and a 9 by 32 socket or your ratchet and a 7 millimeter socket. Again, screw it in my hand at first. You can actually tighten these from here. I'll show you on the other side how it will look. Instead of underneath the car. You can actually tighten all the screws from out here looking at the front of the car instead of underneath the car. Your choice how you want to do it. Once all 10 bolts are on, put your 7mm socket and quarter inch ratchet on. And just make sure it's tight. Do that for the rest. So all these bolts are on. Okay, now to put the three clips on here, you'll just line it up and snap the clips in. And on the other side. Now I will say this is one bad thing about Chrysler's splash guards. The fact that you have to put clips there and not bolts. I believe this is um, one reason why um, if your splash guard breaks, it'll probably break off right here where the clips are. Um, so that's kind of a design flaw in my opinion. I think it should have been bolts instead. Like the way these ones are secured, I think it should have been the same right here. Put in the other 
three clips and then one. Okay. What I would suggest is grabbing the mud flap right here, fender flap. Just kind of, you'll have to feel it. Okay. And that one in. Perfect. Okay, the last thing to do is there's a hole there. And one right there. Now, I will say, because my splash shield broke at one point, uh, I might have lost some of the clips right there. So, um, I actually don't have any other clips on the moment. Um, or at least I can't find them right now. So, um, what I'm doing instead is putting a spare bracket piece that I have on here to hold it in place. You could do that too if you want, or you could put some kind of any kind of clip right here it's just to secure this in the in the short term in fact let me know if there if your car has any clips right here uh, or if it's using vaults because uh, I'm not really sure please mention that in the comments below if this helped please like and subscribe and check out some of my other helpful videos and tips and tricks I'll leave a couple in the description so. and let me know in the comments section below if you like this video Thanks for watching.